Hey guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com, bringing you weekly videos about psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. And this is a fun one, or at least I hope so. It's about how to shed an outgrown identity or a false self-identity so that you can transform and grow. And I actually created a whole program about this. It's called Reinvent Your Self-Image, and you can get it at dailyom.com. But the premise behind it is that as we go through life, we shift and we change, and we often carry around with us this energy and feeling and idea of who we are when we aren't that person anymore. And by dragging this old luggage with us, we tend to hold ourselves back and create limitations where we don't really need to have those in our lives. So here are three, I'm looking at my little handy notebook here, three easy steps to work on shedding an identity that no longer serves you. And the first thing you wanna do is start exploring and look at what you're yearning for, like your soul, your spirit, like what do you really want? And I'm not talking about success or money or whatever, like shallow things. I'm talking about like things that you love and like crazy stuff like riding horses or swimming in the ocean or traveling or learning something new, those kinds of things. Like what, what would you really love? And then go and let yourself start to do those things. The next thing you want to do, step two, is to really get comfortable with saying, believing, and thinking, and feeling, that's not me anymore. So let's say you, you always had an issue that triggered you, but you're done with that. You can own it that that's not me anymore. And don't let other people in your life tell you who you are based on who they knew you to be way back when. So that's not you anymore. So that's where you got to really be like, no, this is actually the authentic me. And give yourself permission, like just love the old self, be okay with it. Don't, don't criminalize yourself or, or feel bad about anything. Just be like, that's how I was then. This is the new me. This is me now. And that will definitely help. And then the third thing you want to do is really look at and think about doing things differently in a new way, like a new routine, going to new places, listening to new music, taking new classes, which I mentioned before, giving yourself a total makeover from the outside in and the inside out to reflect, um, you know, sort of this is who I am now. So I really love clothes and I love the power that style can can give us. And so like look at your closet and really get rid of stuff that doesn't serve you anymore. And then look at what you're doing in your life. Like why are you doing that that way if, if, if you know that's probably not the best way or maybe it's just boring or you're, you're over it. Give yourself permission to do things in a new way and then just keep bringing in the new and you'll gradually get rid of that that old stuff or those old aspects by embracing the new. And I will make another video about this, a separate video, but what I want to say is if you follow the urge of your soul and your spirit, you can't go wrong. And oftentimes those soul urges are not what you think you're supposed to want, like what society thinks you're supposed to do. I'm half Indian and in our culture, there's an emphasis on being really successful and having like really nice careers, like your t traditional like doctor, lawyer, veterinarian, very, very noble pursuits in their service industries. You're helping people, you're making good money and all that. That's what you're supposed to do. But my heart and soul never wanted that. I wanted to do something different. And now I'm doing the psychic work, which is way out there, but I wanted to just give that example because what the soul wants isn't necessarily what everybody else says you're supposed to want. So listen to your spirit because that will bring you true happiness and it will bring you into alignment um, and balance. So that about sums this up. Thank you so much for watching. And hey, before I go, why don't you put a comment below about 
what things you want to do and what would the new you really be like? What do you dream of? What are your wildest dreams? I'd love to hear about that if you feel like it. And if not, I totally get it. That's fine. But um, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.